without a shred of evidence, Barra Jagdeo keep on telling Guyana that the Wales Gas Project will cut electric bills by half. And when the media push him to show the nation that this investment will be fruitful to Guyana with the loans and the oil money he's going to spend on it, please listen and watch his reactions carefully. The gas to energy project will be built. It is a commitment we made and in spite of every attempt by Kaichor News, by Glenn Lal, by everyone else, the APNU, to kill this project, it's not going to succeed. We have great relations with the U.S. Exim Bank. We've had bipartisan support on this loan. You think a few people, loonies, like Kaichor News, Glenn Lal, or the others who've been trying to block this project. You think that the people who did an assessment of this project in the U.S. are as stupid as they are? They're not. They come, they come down here, the project economics, the greatest. In fact, if a private person were to build this project, they will jump at it because the economics of the, projects, of the project is so good. So that project will go forward. We'll get the loan. The loan is moving forward. We've had a great technical working relationship with the Exim Bank. And we don't need the GC to lobby the GCCI. It's not as though GCCI doesn't want for their membership to have cheaper electricity because they're manufacturers. They, want, they have a vested interest in this project. They want the project to go, go forward because their membership would have cheaper electricity, which will make them more profitable. They can export. They, they, it would, the people of this country would save a hundred million US dollar to um, every year from this project alone, leaving out what we will save as a country. So it's going forward. Ask him where this great economic project assessment there and who did it. But let's move on. Look what is written on ExxonMobil signboard, then put up next to the Rus Russian embassy torn. Big and bold. Powering Guyana, the gas to energy project is expected to bring reliable, affordable electricity. That's it. See that? Read that? And hear that? The project is expected to bring reliable, affordable electricity. The car I am selling you is expected to work well. If it broke up in a week, in a month, or in a year, I told you it is expected to work well. Expected to last you 20 years. If it doesn't, you can't blame me. You have to pay me, work or no work. Let's put it another way. The man Jack Dale marrying you to is expected to big your belly. If he's a gay or impotent, you gotta live with that. That's what Barra Jack Dale is selling Guyana and settling for with this gas to shore project. You notice how clever Jack Dale and Exxon selling this project to us with their words. One word tells all Guyana what's in store for us. That word, expected. Expected is a con man word. A word you can wiggle your way out of. Oh man. The thing is expected to work. Hand me your money for the car. It is expected to work. When the project fails, Exxon will come out and say, yeah, I'll never see and read that signboard and what it said. It said it is expected to work. It's not our fault if it doesn't. Just hand me the money. 
The second part of that con on that signboard, I'm sure you guys miss the deception, the slickness in how they word it and present it on that billboard. The two biggest words on the billboard is powering Guyana. Now, every Guyanese seeing that, reading that would believe that that gas plant is going to power all Guyana. Well, Glenlal have news for you people. That gas plant will only power, if it work, a part of Guyana. Essequibo, Linden, Bartica, and all the islands is not in the air. Many parts of Borbis also is not in the air. But this is how Exxon, along with Exxon Mobil and Jack Deo, with that invisible man named Winston Brasington, playing with the Guyanese people's head on big, bold signboards all across this Guy Guyana, selling us a sweet story, powering Guyana. And guess what, guys? Are we oil profits that Jack Dave didn't collect for put food on the teacher's table? Is what Exxon used to build and put up those signboards all over. <laughs> That's a cow shit cake covered beautifully with icing for Jack Dave and Brassington to light candle and celebrate with. Man. If Exxon and Jack Dio are so confident about this project, why didn't they put words on the signboards? We guarantee electric bills will cut in half and the supply of electricity will be guaranteed. Why they have to use words? It is expected to deliver. I swallow. Jack Dio and Exxon spit, not me, and have a nice day.